What advice do you have for other, other young, especially women, to get involved with this whole thing? And the, you know, how do you express the importance as to, you know, what it what it's like to to get involved with uh, Chicano Park? Well, I think um, the thing that we all have in common um, as mujeres, as muralists, um, with Stephanie and Carmen and Idma is that um, we're all fighters. You know, um, we might have different approaches and personalities, but deep inside we continue this fight because it's something that we believe in. And just like anything in life, there are hurdles. And so I think that if someone envisions being part of this amazing process, um, that they should keep going regardless of the walls and that they should reach out because you never know who will be that person to open up the door for you. Um, for me, I, um, I asked many artists when I was younger to uh, help me uh, paint in the park, but it's so ironic that the person who helped me was a white man, Michael Schnorr, and I would have never um, expected that to be the case. And what he did was super important because he facilitated the process for me. It was demystified. It no longer became uh, this uh, huge process that was out of my grasp. It became, it's very easy, let me show you the way. And I think that that's really important and something that um, I'm seeing happening now, which is passing the torch. Um, and I'm excited to be here with Stephanie because she certainly is the new school and has the energy and um, has the vision. Um, I am still an activist, but in a different way, um, working in the mental health field. Um, and we all have our stories and we all need to fight to voice them, um, not only for ourselves because it's cathartic um, and it's healing because art is healing, but also, um, like Stephanie was saying, I mean, to leave an imprint and to um, mark the road um, because we still have a lot to to work on as a society uh, in regards to racism, in regards to sexism. Um, and I think that all of this is really um, moving forward. Um, but it's a struggle. So you have to have thick skin. You have to keep going. What do you think, Drew? Um, I would, I would say that my message has um, more so to do with embracing the femininity and all the intuitive factors that it has and it carries and, and how much that will play a role in, in, in taking us where we need to go, not just the women but for the men. You know, to not just live in such an a intellectual mindset but you know, the, the intuitive nurturing, the, um, the growth factor. And, and, I, and I feel it and I see it, you know, eliciting um, so much in, in um, the art and in the movement. And I think that's an important message for uh, women and younger women because I myself have experienced um, kind of um, an adaptation between, you know, the masculine and the feminine being so that um, it's 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 hard to be a fem a feminine force in um, a world that has not valued you know and respected that and um, being that we are sometimes full of doubts mental doubts instead of um, trusting, you know, what your gut tells you. And um, that is what women are supposed to show. Like, not, not so much um, teach through, through anything other than demonstration, you know, to make people comfortable in their feelings and um, to elevate others through the um, embrace of these intuitive feelings so that I don't know I guess a, re a sort of a renaissance can take place you know even even more so like in art you know you value your art and you you put 
a, a price on it and that that value goes so far in even um, starting the golden era because when you don't value your art and you and you don't I don't know when you when you downplay you know that side of you um, it's cheating everyone you know it's, it's it's cheating the Renaissance from happening so I don't know if that makes sense to <laughs> does that make sense? yeah it makes sense to me I think um, it's really important what you're saying I mean because to me it sounds very spiritual you know and I think that we do have this intuitive part of ourselves that knows in the pit of our stomach what is right and what is not right I think um, as women yeah we do have a lot of doubt because around us in our environment we are not supported and encouraged and there are not a lot of images that represent you know that struggle and so um, I cherish you as a muralist and that I know that it's really difficult to put yourself out there I mean there is a vulnerability and being a muralist in general, but then being a woman muralist and trying to, um, even the, the physical parts of painting in the park and the environment and um, being sexualized, I mean, it, it, it throws it off, you know? And we need, I think, more mentors and um, leaders in this movement, which you certainly are, you know? But it, it takes, um, and, you know, and Carmen and uh, Idma and so many other people, you know, before us even who painted in this park, um, but it needs to be constant, you know, and, and you are, I think, in the, the muralist movement, constant, you know, and for me, um, I branched out into um, the meaning of art and the process of art um, because it's so multi-layered. It's not just, I'm just going to decide to mark this wall um, because it's for me and, you know, I have all the answers. It's really how do I come in and engage the community in a discussion of all these things that you're talking about, right? A discussion of inequality, of oppression, because this is what Chicano Park is, is, you know, how do we tell the stories that have originally been set aside and put away? And I think that being a, a muralist in this park, here's another chapter, right, that is not being talked about. And it, it's really ironic because, you know, here we are as a Chicano community, you know, trying to advance, but yet here's this chapter that has not been touched, right? That we have not been credited for. And, um, and I'm really glad that we get this forum today to talk about that, to engage in that conversation, to try to see how to better that, how to encourage mas mujeres, right? To come in, um, to see the energy, you know, that you have and the, the precision right of, of coming in and pouring your heart not only on this image but within the community and then the hope of advancing um, as a global community you know not just within the Chicano community but how do we connect to everyone um, so that we can move forward I mean that's what I'm getting from you know the intuitive part is that we need to listen to that you know and it, it really is difficult as a woman to have that gumption and to have um, that faith and, and to move forward because it, it's almost like you're standing alone within that process and it's difficult in that way. So, I mean, I, I am really proud of you. I'm proud of all the mujeres, um, you know, and my, and my hermanos también, pero especially, you know, knowing what we have to go up against, you know. Um, but I also know that there might have been moments, you know, where people do support, um, you know, like right now we're being supported because we are uh, given a forum and a platform. You know, when I was painting my, uh, the mural, um, I had the community come out and I had people engaging with me um, and supporting me. And so it's like anything else, you have people who are very much in support of you as a woman to paint and then you have the people who, you know, Maybe not because of their egos, and we all have egos.